Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to start with other reactions of phenols which we have to complete today. So in other reactions of phenol, first of all I will be talking about reduction of phenol which we have done before also. In reduction, the reaction is pretty simple. You take phenol and heat it with zinc powder which will be my reducing agent. The zinc will grab away the oxygen and convert into zinc oxide and benzene will be formed as the major product. The second reaction of phenol is oxidation of phenol. If you leave phenol, just open the bottle of phenol, automatically it gets oxidized due to the air which is present around it. Or you know, you can carry out this reaction also by using acidified potassium dichromate or you can also use acidified sodium dichromate. You can see the formulae which I am writing here. So these two are very good oxidizing agents, both are orange in color and both are chromium salts, they are belonging to D block elements. As a result, the phenol will get oxidized to black colored compounds benzoquinone and many other products also you may get, the most important one I am writing here which is there for your exam. So phenol, uh, what kind of question can be asked here is, why does phenol change its color on exposure to air? or exposure to sunlight. So our answer is pretty simple, phenol will get oxidized slowly and it will form benzoquinone and hence its color might change to uh, like let us say pink, it might change to sometimes red color or it might also change to brown color. So these are the questions and this question had been asked in uh, the board exam also. So now I am talking about uh, uses of phenol which can be there in exam and also as a general knowledge every child must know what, why am I studying this top topic of phenol. So first of all uh, let me tell you that phenols are very good antiseptics, okay. They are used to kill the bacteria or the germs which are present on the live wounds. So they can be used in uh, you can say soaps, they can be also found in the lotions or you can also see them in the various ointments which we are using daily. A very uh, familiar and the common, uh, common uh, antiseptic uh, which we use is Dettol. So Dettol is nothing but a derivative of phenol. It contains uh, derivatives of phenol and it is uh, quite you know uh, good antiseptic. The second important uh, use of phenol is in the formation of colored compounds called as dyes. Dyes are the compounds which are used to color the comp uh, fabric or the textiles. So azo dyes are the compounds which are prepared from phenol. The third important use is in the formation of picric acid which we had seen just now if you remember 2,4,6-trinitrophenol. So phenol is used for preparation of picric acid which is going to be used as an explosive. The fourth uh, use of phenol which we can see is in the chapter of polymers which we have already seen or some of you may see later. It is used for the synthesis of some important polymers like phenol formaldehyde resin. Okay, So uh, very good uses are going on and the last uh, use one of the important uses I can say it is used for in the manufacture of drugs or medicines like uh, tell me yeah absolutely aspirin. So children you can see that uh, there are so many uses of phenol and if someone asks you, you may write down any of these uses. So today we have finished the topic phenols, uh, it was quite a big topic and in the next video we will be starting with ethers, uh, you may see that also. Thank you so much, take care and bye bye.